The Penn Central was a railroad suspended in financial limbo when Emery Goulash shot these scenes in the mid-1970s. Bankrupt since 1970, the Reorganization Court had decided in May 1974 that based on its income, the PC was not reorganizable. The future of the PC and a number of other bankrupt railroads in the Northeast was placed in the hands of a government agency, the United States Railway Association. Eventually, Conrail picked up the pieces, but that is for the next program in our Penn Central series. The middle of the decade was the worst of times for the PC. It may not have been the best of times for the trackside observers watching the Penn Central's trains in action, but the urgency was there to record on film all they could before the curtain dropped on the large fleet of Brunswick Green locomotives, even as their appearance became a little shabbier. The rail action was dynamic. Dynamic rail action picks right up at Ypsilanti, Michigan, as an EMD GP40 leads a four-unit eastbound freight train past the depot. The cupola cabin car had been converted to a bay window caboose. A short time later, a west mount emerges from the snow flurries at Ypsilanti. A General Electric U23B and U25B lead the train of mostly boxcars past the weathered brick depot. An eastbound freight rounds the curve alongside the Huron River at Ypsilanti. An EMD GP38-2 is on the point. Many, but not all, of the proud old railroad names on the flanks of the cars are now just pleasant memories. The Peninsular Paper Mill at Ypsilanti provides a backdrop for this train as it goes away from us. Emory went a few miles west to Ann Arbor in time to catch a loaded Penn Central coal train crossing the Huron River on the Ann Arbor Railroad. The train is coming from southern Ohio with coal for the Dow Chemical Power Plant at Midland, Michigan. Frost is on the ties and snow is on the ice in the river in this wintertime scene. Classic Alco Power, two C636s and a C628 lead the train. A 
a GP-35 of the Ann Arbor, painted in the same solid orange as the Detroit, Toledo, and Irons and Railroad, is a pusher. Soon, the Ann Arbor pusher returns light, crossing the long bridge over the Huron River at Ann Arbor. With the pusher gone, a westbound freight train on the Ann Arbor crosses the partly frozen Huron River. Work equipment, including a yellow former passenger coach, is on the rear of the train. 